When you hear the term NASA, places like Houston, Texas, or the Kennedy Space Center in Florida might come to your mind. Yet destinations like Nebraska hold their own charm. Market Journal's Mike Straub had this fascinating sit-down conversation with a NASA scientist to explore how NASA aims to tap in the potential of the heartland. NASA is well known for the strides they've made in space exploration. However, some of their best work has been more of a terrestrial focus. Specifically, the Earth Science Division located at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Last month, Division Director for Mission Planning, Dr. Robert Swap, was given a presentation on the South African Regional Science Initiative, better known as Safari 2000. This was a great segue into how NASA hopes to harness the heartland. One of the things that uh, myself and a number of other coll uh, colleagues have been working on is how can we work to engage with the expertise in the heartland realizing we don't know and that people in the heartland do know and how can we work together uh, to bring together to bring together the best pieces of what we both have to offer so in NASA Earth Sciences we are really strong at innovation exploration uh, cutting-edge stuff however people who live and work here are experts uh, regarding the way that they work the land, they understand the land, uh, they manage the land, and I believe that uh, in many ways we complement each other well. From groundbreaking research to a thriving extension system, when you're talking about available data and a good working relationship with agricultural producers around the state, Dr. Swap told us working in conjunction with the University of Nebraska system would be instrumental in working toward the goals of harnessing the heartland. Nebraska is extremely strong in their extension uh, activities. Uh, they're working with uh, those who work the land. Uh, their understanding of the landscapes, the land atmosphere interactions. Um, I mean, 130 years of uh, soil moisture data. Uh, I mean, groundwater data. Uh, multiple different types of ecosystems that they've mastered and have a un unique understanding with of and in many ways working with them where they have that ground truth from the ground to nose height and we can work with them to go from nose height to satellite and we see them as key key uh, partners whether it be on the science side the ag side the natural resource side or on the the medical uh, services side as well so we're really excited in many ways nebraska and the university of nebraska system um, represents almost like one-stop shopping, if you will, kind of like the large intellectual Costco, in the sense that we can come in here and you have expertise of all these different flavors, and more importantly, you, you work together and you have a can-do spirit and get stuff done. And I think that's essential for the success of this, this concept of harnessing the heartland. Drought has played a huge part in cropping systems across Nebraska and much of the western United States. Over the last couple of years, when it comes to these kind of studies, Dr. Swap knows that input from everyone will play an important role in the success of any given mission. In a sense, this is a perfect opportunity to think globally by acting locally. And the notion is that we're trying, we're in the middle of a scoping study, and we're looking to engage with uh, stakeholders, and those stakeholders are everybody from, you know, scientists and people who design satellites all the way down to the folks who actually have to live with that information, the farmers, the range, uh, rangelands, uh, tribal communities, uh, folks that are living off the land. And we're pulling together and working through stakeholder engagement right now to listen to the express needs. What are people most concerned about? And um, I think it's important to stress that the time is now. If people have thoughts, comments, or would like to learn more, we are hoping that folks would reach out sooner and share their thoughts, ask their questions, if they're willing to, now's the time. It's an open invitation for people to get involved. I mention that because, you know, if you're not at the table when these things are decided, you often end up on the menu. So what I'd really like to do is those folks that have some ideas and interests, please feel free to reach out to ourselves or to our colleagues at the University of Nebraska. Eric Hunt is a good point of contact, and uh, we'll be be sure to get that information to you, and, and we look forward to any dialogues that might arise. As data is collected and analyzed over the next several years, NASA and the University of Nebraska-Lincoln will continue to work towards harnessing the heartland, making life here on Earth a bit better every day. Reporting for Market Journal, 
I'm Mike Straub.